Hi, my name is Maria and I have been friends with Larry and Denise for over 50 years. And I wanted to share a little bit about those early years of knowing them. I met Denise when we were in grade school and we attended youth group together later on. And Larry entered the scene when he joined our karate class that was being offered at church. And it was in that class that we could really see that Larry had a deep interest in defending and protecting his family and his loved ones. And quite honestly, I think that was the beginning sign that Larry was gifted with a pastor's heart. Well, very shortly thereafter, Larry gave his heart to Christ, just like so many of us in the youth group in those days. And he was quite the good looking guy. And um, he earned the nickname Captain Kirk because he looked just like the handsome TV star of the 1980s version of Star Trek, William Shatner. Well, because of his good looks, he turned the heads of many girls in the youth group at that time. And yet he only had eyes for Denise. It was in those days that Larry taught us this game, look for the padiddles. He taught us this game when he would give us rides to and from youth group events in the evenings and Denise would be sitting by his side. He would tell us, if you see a car with one headlight or one taillight burned out, we were to call out padiddles and it was his opportunity to sneak a kiss, kiss with Denise. Larry was a gifted pastor. He was a gifted teacher. I'm gonna miss Larry. He had such a, a gentle spirit. He had such a kind heart and he had a great sense of humor that we all enjoyed that really uh, helped him be so likable and able to connect with so many people on different levels. I'm gonna miss him. And yet I rejoice and I'm grateful for the time that we had with him. And uh, I believe Larry was a gift from God to all of us for such a time as this. Oh, one of my favorite memories with Uncle Larry and Auntie Denise, um, and it's not just with them, this is probably one of my favorite memories from childhood. Uh, we just gone and watched a, a, a baseball game up in San Francisco and we were driving back down to Santa Cruz and Uncle Larry was driving a uh, Auntie Denise's new car and Auntie Denise was asking about um, the cruise control button and Uncle Larry was like, wait, you you haven't tried this new cruise control? You got it, honey, you got to check this out. This is amazing. It's autopilot, you know, it, it will do everything for you. So. Uncle Larry presses the, the cruise control button on the steering wheel, takes his hand off of the steering wheel, and the car is just completely piloting itself down the highway. I mean, it's as the road bends, the car turns with the bend of the road. We needed to exit, and the car took the exit that we needed to take. And Auntie Denise was just like completely mind blown. Like, she was just like, what? I can't believe this brand new car has got this feature and I didn't know about it, yada, yada. Meanwhile, I'm in the back seat and I could see his knee steering the car. So that was that that was kind of one of the uh, one of my favorite stories about him that showed how how much of a fun loving guy he was, and how he really liked to make people laugh and and just make an otherwise maybe mundane situation fun. And um, that's a good snapshot of Uncle Larry. You know, we had some fond memories with him. Uh, he was nice enough uh, to fly out for our graduation along with Auntie Denise. Uh, so both uh, my brother Tyler and I both got to see him uh, here in Hawaii for our high school graduations. Um, and you know it's just amazing that he took the time to make an effort to come out and see all of his nieces and nephews graduations. Uh, you know it really meant a lot that he actually took the effort to make it extra special for all of us. Even when I drove cross country all the way from Miami to California, he was, you know, they were able to get all the family together. So it was nice to see all the uncles and aunties and, and cousins. And I know he meant a lot to everybody. My family, uh, Uncle Carl, Auntie Leone, Tyler, uh, my kids all send our, our biggest hugs and love. And, you know, we wish you all the best.
The first time I met Larry and Denise was in their beautiful home in Northern California when our sons, Mike and Tyler, was in college. I had the opportunity to have breakfast with Larry and he was eating pie. The first thing I said to him, Larry, why are you having pie for breakfast? And he said, growing up, I was told I could not have dessert for breakfast. And he told me that he knew that when he became an adult, he could have whatever he wanted. Then he looked at me and said, just think about it. Pie has sugar, eggs, flour, milk, all of the things that are healthy. Well, Larry, you were very wise. Thank you for sharing your life and your family with us. We love you. Hi, my name is Bijan and this is Sheila, my wife. And we had the privilege of knowing Larry and Denise for a few years, since very early 80s. And we did have a great, great time together. And me and Larry used to uh, share the co-leadership of a home group in Santa Cruz, California. And I don't think there is anybody in the world that knows more about the Las Vegas buffet than Larry does. And he frequented probably every one of them more than once or twice or more than even three times a day. I do want to say that the Larry's last job, it makes me so happy when I think of Larry's last job because he loved that job. And one night he came home from work and told Denise, oh, I was just dancing in the car with joy because he, he loved his job so much. And that makes me really happy to think of that. Larry had a great sense of humor and his timing was perfect because it was sort of when everybody was relaxed and he would come up with something and you didn't know if he was, at first, you didn't know if he was joking or, or was there was something wrong. And it was really, it was really funny. Larry has a great sense of humor. He is also very interested in everybody. He's always interested in learning. Um, and one of the last things he did with some friends of ours is he learned how to make different items with wood and he was, gonna set up a whole wood shop in his garage. And so he's just was interested in everything. And that was, that was just beautiful to watch. Beautiful to watch. So we just, I'm just grateful to know him for, for a long. I mean, it was joy to know both Larry and Dennis. Well, good afternoon. Uh, it's my pleasure to share a minute or two with you about my good friend, uh, Larry Holzer. Uh, Larry and uh, Denise were friends that we met probably 45 years ago in Santa Cruz, California. We attended the same church uh, together and actually did life groups. In those days, we called them cell groups or home groups. But we wound up sharing life, families, uh, and seasons together and, uh, and involved ourselves in each other's lives. One thing I learned about Larry early on is he loved the Word of God. He loved to study uh, the Word of God. Such that uh, Denise loved to tell a story about how regularly in the evening, Larry would be studying something at the computer and it would get later and later, and finally she would go off to bed. <clears throat> and eventually he would fall asleep at the keyboard. And she got to a place where the only thing would get her up would when she would hear the big thud, which meant he had fallen asleep at the keyboard and fallen out of his chair and hit the floor, which was his model. But he did love the Lord. He did love the Word of God. As a matter of fact, early on in our relationship, we used to tag team at our church, uh, teaching a Sunday school class. And I would teach for three months uh, and he would teach for three months and uh, we would go back and forth. Larry's class was very popular. And uh, one time I remember telling him, you know, I don't want you to get a big head. So just remember that 
Uh, if I can go get two dozen donuts, I can steal your class. He laughed, didn't take me serious, although I was serious. Uh, during that time, going to that church, both of our families got called to, min to the ministry. Larry and Denise uh, received a call from the Lord, uh, a pastoral call, and Stephanie and I uh, were called into missions and uh, relief work. One thing about Larry and Denise, uh, God gave them a very unique heart to pastor. Uh, they loved people, they invested their lives in people, uh, they counseled uh, people. They were perfect as shepherds. Matter of fact, they, over the years, they ministered to our family to the point that I always considered Larry my personal pastor among two or three, not more, uh, pastors that I've known over the years that I trusted, uh, who invested uh, his life and time uh, in me and in our family. One of the topics, one of the theological topics in the body of Christ, if you've been uh, in the family of God very long is, so what are we gonna do in heaven when we get there? Well, I don't know uh, the answer to that, but I know what Larry's doing. The reason I know that is three nights ago, I was enjoying a nice sound sleep at night and I had a dream. And in my dream, Larry was instructing me. Now, I don't dream a lot about Larry, and I feel really good about that. But in my dream, Larry says, I want you to tell Archie that he's working too much and he needs to slow down. It was interesting because Larry had never met Archie, and I hadn't seen him in probably 10 years. But I took his counsel serious and I passed the information to Archie and I said, a good pastor friend of mine says that you're working too much and you need to slow down. So I don't sure uh, how long Larry uh, rested when he got to heaven, but I know he's working now and that's exactly how he likes it. And I expect when I see him next, uh, he will have some information for us. And uh, I thought maybe we'll even team teach. I'll bring the donuts and we'll see how it goes from there. He and Denise have been great friends, great faithful partners in ministry. And uh, we, we miss them a lot and we're looking forward to seeing them soon. Thank you.